Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this cute little truck box. It holds two nuggets. These are Hershey nuggets. It would hold other things too, probably Hershey Kisses, but I was trying to come up with an idea for little nuggets and I just think that this is so cute. It would make a cute little table favor um, or just a treat for somebody. We're using the trucking along punch it has a matching stamp set but i'm not using the stamp set at all i'm just using the punch all right let's make our trucks first now the punch is a builder punch so it has the truck the i don't know what these are called guys <laughs> fenders maybe i don't know this little part that goes over the wheel it has the wheels and the window so i've got pumpkin pie for the truck and this part i've got black for the wheels and I've got silver foil for that window. So I'm looking at my black piece thinking that maybe that's not gonna be quite big enough, but we'll see. All right, I've got a little straggler here in my punch. There we go. Okay, so let's punch out two trucks. And we're gonna, we're gonna have them facing different directions. All right, like that. Because when we put them on the box we need the outsides of each opposite side to show all right now i've got this let's see if we can get four tires out of it one two three four okay and then our windshield i've got a piece of silver foil scrap here from my scrap box and let me bring this back over. Did I punch out? I've got one of them, but I don't think I have the others. We need four of these guys down here. So one, two, three, and do I have room for one more? Four. Okay. Now you're gonna need also a small, um blending brush and pumpkin pie ink i'm just cleaning up my mess here probably you can't even see it um so you're gonna need a small blending brush pumpkin pie ink a pumpkin pie stamp a right marker and a white um watercolor pencil or a white gel pen if you have that so let's bring over the grid paper and the first thing i'm gonna do and we're gonna do this to our our fenders too. I'm probably calling that the wrong thing. You guys will probably say, you're not saying the right thing. I'm sorry. I'm definitely not a car person. All right, I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna go around the edges. And I am kind of running my ink off here first to get off those hard splotches. When you set your um, brush down, you get kind of a hard edge, hard blob. All right, and then we'll go around on this one. And we're just getting the edges. Okay. All right, now for these guys, I'm gonna have to use my take your pick tool to kind of go around the edge. Let's see, it's a little bit tedious, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, ooh, that one I made pretty dark. All right, this last one, like that. All right, so now I'm gonna get my liquid glue, and I'm gonna start with my wheels, little dots of glue, and we'll use that take your pick tool to pick those up and put them in the right place. And I'm gonna use my grid paper. Whoops, I went a little bit high on that one, didn't I? I'm gonna use my grid paper to make sure I have these lined up in the right spot. I'm gonna use that line down there to line them up so that when I um, have my truck sitting, it, it won't wobble. All right, so set that one to that. See, I've, I've lined up at that line and that line. And then I want the truck to, or the wheels to touch that line right there. 
Well, if I could quit bumping them out of the way. There we go. All right, now let's put just a tiny bit of glue around the edges and add these things on, these thingamabobs. Your take your pick tool is such a huge help with small things like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Stamp and Write marker and I'm gonna use the skinny end and I'm just gonna draw a light line from there to there and then also from the door, like where the door would be, and a little handle, okay? So from the windshield down and the back side down and a little handle. Now let's add on the windshield or the, not the windshield, you guys know what I'm saying. The window, the driver's window. And it looks like maybe this one I need to punch out differently so that it faces the other way. Let's see if this will work. Let's punch it out backwards and then it'll be facing the right way. Okay, so to get that one to face the way, you gotta turn it around, turn the punch around and punch from the back. All right, now take your white and let's just add some shine marks to this, this cute little truck, the front of each of these. And then I'm gonna put a little circle here in the middle of the tires. Like that, and then this time the, we'll do like that, and like that, and how about back here like that? Okay, and there is two adorable little trucks. All right, so now you're gonna need a piece of pumpkin pie. Let me get everything out of the way. And this is a very small piece. It measures two and three eighths by one and seven eighths. And we're gonna score it at half an inch on all four sides. So half, 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 and half again. Okay, that's, that's the size of the bed right there. It's not very big. Grab your bone folder. Burnish those lines like that. And then this box, you're not gonna see it at all. So don't worry about it being perfect. All right, oops. I'm gonna snip the score lines on the long side. And then I'm gonna take some liquid glue and I'm gonna adhere these Fold them up into the sides, okay? Well, we're gonna have to kind of hold them. Let me grab my clothes pins to hold them closed so that they can, that glue can set. Let's see, let's just add one more right here. All right, while that glue is setting, let's wrap our nuggets. Um, I have cut two pieces of designer series paper, um, one inch by three inch, all right? And we're gonna put adhesive around and put some on the ends too. And you start back here, adhere that on the back and then wrap it around like that. Okay, now this one. This is pumpkin pie designer series paper from our Brights stack. Brights stack of designer series paper it has all the Brights colors, has patterns of all the col Brights colors, goodness. All right, there we go. Okay, now let's get some tear and tape for this next part. I'm gonna take my tear and tape and I'm going to put 
one piece right here and I'm going to take my other piece and put right there okay now let's peel off the backing make sure it's pressed in good peel off that backing and let's start with our first truck and I'm just going to attach it right there all right and you want to make sure that it doesn't go past the bottom of the truck then let's get the backing off of this one and we're going to do the same thing now this time we've got to make sure that they're even so i'm going to set it on there but then i'm, I'm going to set it down and make sure that they're even before i press that in yep looks pretty good all right and then you just set your little nuggets in there and there you go how fun, how cute, right? So, so, so cute. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. I have two other trucking along videos for you if you'd like to check them out. I have five projects total, so make sure you click the link here and go over to my blog if you're looking for more inspiration. All right, everybody, have fun. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.